Hi, uh, Ross from uh, from Coningsby in Lincolnshire. Uh, nice, nice local one to come to. Um, saw a ding dong battle, um, but it was it was never in doubt from the only goal. Uh, we defensively, we're dreadful now. It doesn't seem like our early form in the start of the season is is paying off at all. Um, and conceding five is unforgivable at any level. Um, Lambert's clock is ticking and it's ticking down to to his departure, and I can't see him lasting till the end of January. But to be fair, he might walk tonight. Um, it's just random, random game in the second half, but too too many mistakes, and, too, and our discipline has to start, has to be better. Too many silly little yellow cards, and and uh, it's got to stop. Um, uh, move on to New Year's Day at Wickham on the telly, where more than likely it'll be another embarrassment. This is uh, David Fisher, Groundhog Day. Um, there's not a lot to say on that on the actual game. There were flash in, in a perverse way. I'm less annoyed by that than I was against Gillingham. There were flashes in there of a team that could be. You know, when you got Downs and Dazelle on the ball, when we started getting it wide, playing the ball into um, Keane's feet, we looked a bit dangerous, and that was when we scored um, through Keane. But we just get bullied off the ball and you can't scrap. We haven't got the players to do it. And I was thinking about this last night. I was anticipating um, a, a long sort of Groundhog Day comment. My one comment, to, one comment about the team today before I go to that is Norris and Edwards, no. I don't care what Wolves are saying about us playing. You play the best goalkeeper, which is not Norris. He dithers, he fannies around, and uh, Holy's a better keeper. Edwards is not a footballer and should just, frankly, bugger off somewhere. Um, if you think back, after a year, Burley, who got criticism when he was first appointed because he'd come from Colchester and what had he done at Colchester and so forth, and we got several hidings along the way and we got relegated. But Burley was putting something in place. When Royal took over and there was muttering about him because of where he'd come from and all of those sort of things, he made the sum of his parts better than what they were. Four threes instead of one nils because we couldn't defend for Toffee. But this after a year, can you really see any sign of any pattern of play? The criticism to start with was Bielikowski couldn't play with the ball at his feet, so he kept rotating those goalkeepers round. We're not playing the ball out from the goalkeeper at all, we're just thumping it downfield to two people who can't hold the ball up. You've got a, a poacher, somebody who can just bang the ball into the net, who's being asked to go wide and develop stuff. There's no pattern whatsoever. I can't, if anything, there's less pattern now than there was at the end of last season. And that's what really concerns me. This has been coming for ages. It could have happened against Gillingham, it could have happened against Blackpool, it could have happened a number of times. We had one shot properly in open play today, which is the one we scored from. The others, corner, excellent free kick, but there's nothing there. And that, for me, is why I've got so many questions and marks about Lambert. After a year, his side should have identity. Whether that's rugged, fight it out in this division, or whether it is pass it on the ground beautifully through Dazelle and so forth, there needs to be an identity, and there is none. That's why I've got so many question marks about him. It's why I didn't turn on McCarthy until the Hull game, because there was an identity. It may have been one which was rugged and uncomfortable and nasty to watch, but it was an identity. We don't have one. That's why we get turned over today. It could have been Gillingham. It will be again, unless we do something about it. Well, the season has turned to absolute has not it? I've just walked out of this gate and to be honest I'm quite glad I did. That was, that was absolutely dreadful. I mean, I know we've seen eight goals, but at the same time, 5-3, we've lost 5-3, going making a three-hour trip back now on that performance. Absolutely horrendous. Um, Edwards, poor. He's been poor all season. Uh, he just early on in the game, got himself, you know, he went in barging in. Looked like he could have got a yellow card for that and got a yellow card later on. I don't, just, what, what is he thinking? Is he frustrated? It's getting really annoying. He's not consistent. Uh, you know, we had this rotation policy, but yet he hasn't taken Edwards off today, has he? Why? He should have been changed. He should have been one of the ones who shouldn't start. Maybe judge as well, but he had a bit of a better game today. But that's one of those things, I guess. Uh, obviously, Keane's scoring, which is good. I like Keane. He did much better. You know, the time that he came on, he's done uh, a lot more than what Norwood had done today, I'm afraid. Uh, you know, he got us a goal. Um, uh, Scoring, letting him five today. It's, 
not good. Um, they just walked all over us, haven't they? I know we've got three back, but we had to, and it kind of took what, took us one, let one goal in to try and get back into it. And we shouldn't be doing that, especially uh, the big team that we are. There's players that we've got. Uh, Norris, sending back now. Uh, useless. What was he doing for the second goal? Just we've got a decent goalkeeper in Holy. He's our goalkeeper, and he's not playing. He had the four or five clean sheets to start of the season. You know, he's more vocal. It's Wolves rate him, but nah, let him go. Get back Bart if you have to. I know we could sell him and get a bit of money for him, but nah, Norris is not for me. I don't want to see him start for a town, town, uh, for a town game again. Uh, and Lambert as well. Um, had a friend walk past me as he walked out today. Uh, hi, Rob. <laughs> uh, basically said he wants him gone. You know, he's had enough of him, and I think people are turning that, can turn that way now. For me, if he doesn't sort it out in the next couple of games, then yeah, he's got to go. Because where, where are we going? What's 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 happened to us? It's, nothing's positive. You know, we're, we were seven or eight points away from from the, the you know second, weren't we? You know, clear. But now we're four points from tenth. We don't want that. That's, that's no good, is it? We, we don't want to be stuck in League One obscurity, which could quite, has quite possibly happen. Uh, so yeah, I'm not, not happy going home on loss. You know, let five in was coming at some point. To be fair, you know. But that just happens, I guess. And uh, hopefully we can turn it around at Wickham, but that's not going to happen, is it? I'm not looking forward to that now. That's so I'll just take my ticket back now in the morning, go back to Plant Blue, get a refund for it. <laughs> so we'll see. Hey, it's Mike. Yes, end of a dreadful year, really, with relegation and now a 5 3 defeat at Lincoln City. But I want to be positive. Let's start new New Year with a win at Wickham. Let's get on and make next year a promotion year. Come on!